That was a pretty fantastic promo for the Telluride AIDS benefit, which is occurring this weekend. And I am sitting here with Doug Ford. Hello, everyone. <laughs> how are you doing today? I'm great. It's super to be on the TV. <laughs> how, fa how special. Very special. Hello, everybody out there. <laughs> Could you tell us a bit about yourself and how you got your start here in Telluride? Um, I grew up down in the south and um, always was just enamored by the beauty of the West and uh, visited Telluride back in the 90s and just kind of set the course to move out here and finally uh, moved here permanently in 2011. And so I've been here five years and uh, it's just the best decision I ever made. Love it. Staying forever. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So can you tell us a bit about your involvement with the Telluride AIDS benefit? We know it's coming up soon and I want to hear what you what you are doing with them. Yeah, I, I've been on the board for three years. Uh, pr predominantly, my function is fundraising and working on um, the event on Friday, uh, which is the student art show. Um, I became involved because of, you know, years ago, I grew up in the middle of the AIDS crisis. I graduated from high school in 1984, mm -hmm. um, when there was, uh, it was probably at the height of the panic. Um, and so many people were dying and <clears throat> so I've always, um, just been involved. Um, in Atlanta, I was with a group of, there were uh, 10 of us that raised a million dollars to save um, the clinics in Atlanta in the 90s. Um, over a 10-year period, we raised about $100,000 a year to fund um, uh, the on-street uh, uh, medical services. Um, at the time, there wasn't a cocktail or really any, um, there, wasn't there, there wasn't very good treatment back mm -hmm. then, and it required uh, weekly visits to the doctor and lots of maintenance. So we offered free clinics. There were two in Atlanta, and um, there was a group of um, 10 friends, and <clears throat> we had what was called the Atlanta Cotillion, where we invited our straight friends to come to the Biltmore Hotel, the fanciest uh, hotel in yes. Midtown, and we dressed in drag and presented ourselves <laughs> to the public <laughs> and charged $250 a person. In the first night we made $75,000. What a time. And we, so that, you know, that ran its course. It went for, for about 10 years mm -hmm. and was very successful. And about that time I moved out here. So I got involved in AIDS benefit and it's, uh, this is more fashion oriented and, uh, it's, it's a more of a professional production. Yes. And, um, and you have, here you have involvement in the entire community. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's really a community event, which yeah. is so, so nice to have all that support and be a part of it. Yes, absolutely. And 25 mm -hmm. years running, this is the 25th I can't you believe it. fashion show. 25 years. It's amazing. It's really a fantastic feat. And, <laughs> you know, one of the highlights of the winter, I think it's definitely something that Pretty much everyone in Telluride attends at some point and volunteers in at some point. Hours and hours of time go into it and hours and hours of, you know, dedication. It's a really heavily frequented in show. show. When, when the production hits the stage, you're not going to believe it. Yeah. I mean, these guys have been practicing for 30 days now. And um, the dancing and the costumes this year are over the top. That's great. Yeah. Okay. We won't. We won't dive too much into it. We, oh, I can't everyone... say a word. It can't, can't give it away. <laughs> yeah. Can't everybody... give it away. But you won't believe the costumes this year. It's worth coming to see. Yeah, absolutely. It sells out every year. Correct. Yes, it does. And we still have a few tickets left. Um, you can purchase your tickets at on our website, which is aidsbenefit.org. Um, we have a we have a, about uh, twenty five tickets left for Saturday night. Um, which is standard, that there's always still a few left. We've had some turned back in, which are from our major donors who have, have um, who were given an allocation of tickets um, for their large contributions, and they have turned those back in. And so those have now um, come up for sale, and those are the going to be some of the best tickets in the house. I mean, we have two seats at the end of the runway. They um, treat, your, uh, treat your loved one to a really great show. Uh, Saturday night, 8 o'clock, be there. It's going to be really good. Absolutely. And another thing that just occurred that I'd love to talk to you about is the student 
benefit. Yes, it was Friday night. Yeah. And uh, the energy in uh, the Palm Theater was fantastic. And Fern, who was one of the um, was one of the directors, uh, took on a big challenge this year. They had what thirty five students, forty students, wow. and um, this year they practiced and practiced, and it was uh, the best I've seen. Um, and the entire high school, all their friends came out to see them, mm -hmm. and the support within the room was really good. It, it you know it gives the high school kids an opportunity to really. Uh, develop some stage presence and um, and to work together. Uh, you know, the, it's still rhythmic dancing. It's not as um, is in it's it's not as much practice and as much dancing as you see on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. But um, it uh, everybody looks so good. Yeah, it was really fun. That's awesome. That's um, fantastic. Yeah, and you know, it's such a good um, uh, message and a good thing for the community. Um, to be doing because it is uh, it's reminding everyone uh, about their health uh, and so it's a you know it's not a hit yourself over the head um, hard message it's just something that everyone's involved in to remind you um, you know in it in it in it goes on every year mm -hmm. and it's reinforced and it's done in a open community uh, fashion so everyone's talking about it right. it's it's uh, a very healthy thing for the community to be, yeah. be doing for its for, for the for the high school students and they can carry that message when they leave Telluride and go off to college and you know and they'll still be thinking about it when they start uh, getting involved in their first relationships absolutely it's an mm -hmm. amazing thing it's for really good thing. the youth and the community and mm -hmm. you know the community as a whole great way to ra raise awareness and get people involved in an issue that really matters. Yeah, and, and in an open format where you can talk about it. Yes, definitely. You know, it's it's not in a classroom that's not clinical. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know, well, so. Telluride AIDS Benefit raises thousands and thousands of dollars for HIV and AIDS awareness and research, mm -hmm. and it's occurring this weekend. So definitely get your tickets. Mm -hmm. And right now we're going to head to a clip from last year's TAB Benefit with Jerry Labonte.